Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Zoho CRM with Pipedrive CRM. The first thing I'm going to compare are pricing plans and then I'm going to show you the side-by-side -side comparison and I'm going to talk about some advantages and disadvantages I personally see. So let's start. First, I want to say that I would personally use Zoho if I would use the whole ecosystem, use the Zoho One, Zoho Bundle. So if you want to use I don't know, with the Zoho Invoice, uh, with Zoho Accounting, Zoho Vault and others, I would definitely choose Zoho. Only because you would have everything in one ecosystem and it can be much more efficient and effective. Comparing to have like, I don't know, let's say time tracking, project management in different softwares and also combined with a pipe drive. But if you don't want to uh, use just the whole Zoho ecosystem, I would recommend uh, checking out pipe drive. Because I'm not paid by Zoho or pipe drive to say these things. I wanted to give you the truth what you should do. Let's go further to the pricing plans. Pricing plans, as you can see, Zoho got, on, let's go on monthly basis. You got 15 euro on pipe drive, 18 euro on standard. Standard advanced, it's 29.30 and enterprise is 45 comparing to 59. So as you can see, in some way, pipe drive is cheaper than the enterprise is more expensive. So you can really check it out which one you like. I would say that they are on the same level, but Zoho offers free account for, I think it's free users. Let me tell you, yeah, for free users, completely for free, the basic version. And then, you know, 12 user per month, 12 euro per user per month. And you see it right here how it works. Uh, they're both good. I can really say that one is better comparing to the other based on the pricing because some of them are great there, some of them are great there. What is my recommendation? Test both because the pricing on both is okay. It's not like comparing to HubSpot or Salesforce, which are much more expensive comparing to Zoho, comparing even to Pipedrive. So let's see how it actually works. The first thing I have to say that Pipedrive for me is like top notch CRM uh, from the ease of use perspective only because how simple it is that when I would put here my 14 year old sister, she will learn how to use it in two minutes. That's how intuitive it is. But let me show you, you just come here, you got leads, you got deals, then you have can deals as a pipeline as like Kanban board and list. Then you have mail here that you can connect with your Gmail, etc. Then you can also send emails, activities, what needs to be done, call, meeting, task, deadlines, email, lunch, and then you have contacts here. You could simply click on a contact and it feels like a game, right? I'm going to remove my camera now so you can see everything. So it's just like, it works like game. Then you come here to inside and you see the dashboard with also reports that you can do. Now on Zoho, so it's also simple, but comparing to Pipeline learning curve is higher. So you got leads here. That's both the same here. When I would click on lead, you can add notes, products, open activities, meeting, call, closed activities, everything. Then you got contacts here that you can simply add. And look, for example, the difference between how much you have to scroll to find everything, right? You can also use a timeline. So what you can do is go to plus here and see first name, vendor name and everything you can add. But in pipeline, you come here, contacts plus person, voila, you just add here and you're good to go. So I, this is what I really like that many times in Salesforce or HubSpot and also Zoho. There are so many things that you need to fill out and like, I don't really care about these things. Why would I have them there? You know, I just care about the name the number email and i don't really care about their address you know maybe you do maybe you need that you can also want out more if you want to more email but this is pretty much it so i would click save here i would rather just go and click here and add a note you know or add details here and customize the fields and add a new field right and I can simply add it here rather than have everything like always pop out on me like this. Then you have accounts here. Same also with deals. Deals are really similar. When I would click here on deals, I can have qualified contact made, demo scheduled, proposal, negotiation. You can also change the pipeline, 
plus deal here, contact person, organization tied to value, demo proposal, right? You can change that. Here, it's really similar. I click plus here and you just add your deal name, account name type, lead source, and you just add stage. And so you see it here, it's really similar. It really depends on you, what you like. Then activities, this is similar here in activities. And you can simply add a call. Activity, I can add a call if it was meeting, deadline, free, busy, note. And if it's a deal, lead, people. So you can add organization here. It's completely up to you. And then you have like deadlines here. So this is how you can create activity uh, in Pipedrive. Here you can simply go to top right in Zoho, click task. Right, you can add it or you can add a meeting or a call. And as you can see, like in my eyes, Pipedrive is much easier to use comparing to Zoho. You can again go to reporting and Click here, same with insights. And then you're going to see the dashboard. That is clear. And the report on deal started, deal progress, deal duration. Same, you have both, like a lot of reports that you can use. And now you see things like quotes here, sales order, purchase orders, invoices, campaigns. And many more things and this is what i mean is like when you can connect everything with in zoho with invoices and also how we can with walls with project management i would definitely go with the zoho but other than that i think that pipe drive is much much better from the ease of use perspective and how much you can be effective not to play around in crm but how much it can actually automate and process your time to be more effective and earn more money because when I see that plenty of times, not even just sales, everything. Like when I was, I was working in sales for a year and a half and something. I was like top 100, or top 100 in my whole company. I was 2000 salesmen. Uh, you know, after three months, I was top 10. When I saw that people didn't understand that processes are everything. How much you can be effective, that's the main important thing. How much you can automate, that's going to save you money. Because when I see that my colleagues spent two hours on one client which was low uh, income i would say low, low no money at all from will be and then i will be here with 25 minutes with three x of his income with client and in 25 minutes i would close him out i was that only because i created effective processes and also i didn't i only ask questions i never tell them what to do <laughs> That's how good I was. The, the, the best salesmen are those who can be quiet <laughs> from my perspective and my experience. So this is how I completely dominated everything. And Pipedrive is a good way how you can do it too. I honestly believe in that comparing to Zoho. So thank you very much. Have a great day and goodbye.